says uh, clay sand water a little in depth about that Lincoln 60 properties alternative here in Hawaii black sand property sharp sand how fine should sand be um, that's a hard question to answer Clint you definitely want sharp sand you your your Hawaiian like beach sand isn't gonna isn't gonna work um, I mean I won't say it won't work again I'll tell you what this is gonna sound like a cop-out um, but you've got the stuff right there experiment you know, like when you when you get your I know you have to order the clay. I know you don't have clay, but you've got your black sand, so you can experiment with it, and and you can compare that. You, I know you'll be able to get some mason sand over there as well. Um, so I would say experiment and feel the difference for yourself, because I think you'll find that they're significantly different. And what I want to say though is that I do think you should experiment because I built full stoves <clears throat> with some black river sand that I harvested from our local river and. It's incredible how much you can feel the difference with your hands when you're mixing the mortar and mixing that clay. And it becomes really apparent, like to, as soon as you start building the stoves, how they stand up to brick stacking. You know, the, you'll find with the round sand, you can only get a layer or two and then it's, it's, it's mushing out and, and flowing out of your joints. Um, <clears throat> so, but again, that's my sand. My sand was really round. Yours, I think is probably really round because it's beach sand. But it, you've got black sand, which is lava, so it's probably kind of sharp. So I honestly don't know, Clint. I can't give you the you know a, a, a real definitive answer other than to say that just get your hands on some mason sand. I mean, usually it's just silica sand, mason sand, contractor sand. Um, if you just went to like um, your road crew, they'd probably have some of that type of sand. Um, and maybe not in Hawaii. Now that I think about it, but uh, usually that's where you'll find it, like masonry job sites and things like that and uh, and just experiment because I think you'll know you'll recognize the difference pretty quickly and you will de you know it's not like the black sand wouldn't work it probably will work it just might be a little more difficult to work with um, but it's probably worth playing with so um, I do think you might you might experiment with it um, but I also feel like if you can get without too much expense or trouble get yourself some silica sand, some, some contractor sand, mason sand, um, you'll be ahead of the game. And I learned that through my own process of, you know, experimentation, and it's pretty stark um, how much of a difference that sharp sand makes. Your bricks just stand up tall. You just really notice it. So your, your mortar will be a lot firmer at the same moisture level because the pieces of sand interlock. So um, there's that answer. So.